Hi yogis, I hope you are having a great day so far. So it's end of April. I've been in lockdown for almost two months now and uh, so soon we will be able to be out again and I'm uh, so happy for it. So today we're going to do a short little practice that you hopefully can squeeze in during your day if you're having a little bit of rush through your things that you are doing today. Uh, all around the flow, we're going to use our whole body and uh, as always, I always think it's so important to find your breath, really Feel your breath, feel your inhales, feel your exhales. If you need to stop for a moment to catch your breath, do so. Um, so hope you will enjoy it. And let me know what you think in the comments below. So let's start in a just a seated, comfortable position. Feel free to always sit on a pillow if you want to. Hands on your knees, on your on your thighs, wherever they land naturally. Then may I take a moment to also notice how you're placing your hands, palms facing up, palms facing down, and nothing is good, nothing is bad. It's just a different way of manifesting how we're feeling. So palms facing up, it's more about we want to open up, we want to receive whatever there is for us to receive. Palms facing down, it's more about grounding, it's more about looking inwards. So really find your own way how to place your hands. And then just start taking a couple of deep breaths. Inhale through your nose and exhale it out through your mouth. A couple more times like that until you really feel how you are on the mat. Sometimes it might just take two breaths. Sometimes we just sit a little bit longer. So really allow that time to happen. So you're really finding yourself in the space you're in. And then we will drop our right hand out on the side, on the right side. We will reach our left arm as high up as we can, see with the eyes closed if it's possible. And then bring that left fingertips over towards your right, so coming into a nice little side bend here. If it's possible, drop down on your right elbow or just remain on your hand. And then feel how you're opening up the chest, rotating that left shoulder back as you lift up and lifting your nose up towards the sky. And then one more deep breath here. And then with your next inhale, come up. Sit with the eyes closed. And then coming over to your other side. So either on your hand or on your elbow, reaching those right fingertips up. And then fold over towards the side. Making sure that you have the space in your shoulder to open up. One more deep breath here. And the next inhale, slowly coming back up. We will also open our eyes and welcome this practice. Let's lift it directly up into a downward facing dog. Move around a little bit here. Bend your knees one at a time. With your heels checking into your legs. Moving your neck, so bring your head from one side to another. And then on an inhale, we will roll forward into a plank. Exhale, bend your knees slightly and lift up to the downward facing dog again. Inhale, coming forward into plank. Exhale back to downward facing dog. One more time, so inhale forward into plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, we want to start walk the feet forward towards the front of the mat, placing just behind your hands so they are hip width apart. Just a moment here, ragdoll. 
So grab opposite elbow, keep your knees soft, drop your head. If you want to take it a little bit more intense, then interlace your fingers behind your back and then from there drop down. So let's find your, your variation. Releasing your arms from whatever variation you were in. And then slowly start lifting up, rolling your shoulders up. Bring your shoulders up towards the ears and then exhale back and down. Inhale up towards the ears, exhale back and down. Finding yourself in the front of the mat, feet together, engaging your legs, Tadasana. And from here, start adding your Ujjayi breath if that's in your practice. With your next inhale, sun, sun salutation A, so reaching your arms up. Exhale, fall down, drop your hands all the way down to the floor, so bend your knees if it's necessary. Inhale, coming up on your fingertips or hands on your shins. Exhale, palms back on the floor, step feet back. For the first one, one I always invite you to drop your knees down, and then from there, slowly lower all the way down to the floor. Inhale, rolling up into a cobra. Exhale for a downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, we prepare to come to the front. So bend your knees, lift your legs. Exhale, either step or jump forward. Inhale, reach into the front, straight spine. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale, coming all the way up. And then exhale, hands into heart center. Sun salutation B. So bend your knees, sink your hips. Inhale for chair pose. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale, lift up and straighten your spine. Exhale, stepping back, maybe here you lower down to Chaturanga or continue how you did before to Cobra. Upward facing dog or Cobra. Exhale for downward facing dog. Reach in the right leg up, so it's a modified sun sensation being right leg up. And then exhale, bring your right knee to your right elbow, moving your shoulders forward. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bring it over to your left shoulder. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, step it between your hands, turning right, left foot around, and inhale, warrior one. Exhale, palms on the ground, right foot back, lower down. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg goes up, keeping your hips squared every time you lift your leg. Bring your left knee to your left elbow. Inhale, lift your leg. Exhale, watch your right elbow. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, step it between your hands, turning right foot around. Warrior one, lifting up. Exhale, palms on the ground, left foot back as you slowly lower down with control. Upward facing the dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do that one more time to keep your heat. So reaching your right leg up, right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, lift it up. Bring it out to your left elbow. Inhale, lift it up. Step it in between your hands, turning the left foot around. Warrior one, lifting up. Exhale, Chaturanga. We're all the way down. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Left knee, left elbow. Inhale, lift up. Over to your right elbow. Inhale, lift up. Step in between your hands, turning right for around. And lifting up. Exhale, palms on the ground, left foot back and slowly lower down. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
So come down to child pose if you want to stay. Now we're facing dog for another three breaths. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, reaching the right leg up again. Staying with the leg lifted. I'm feeling how you're really reaching the leg as high up as you can, keeping your hips squared. And from here, step the right foot between your hands. And on an inhale, lifting up into a high lunge. So the back heel is lifted. From here, bending that left elbow, bringing your left hand behind. And grab your left hand with your right hand behind your behind your back. If this is not possible, we can just place the right hand on top of your left and then from there we open up our shoulder. Like that. You can also take this into a low lunge if it's too much. From here, releasing your arms, bring your hands into heart center, look at the, at the floor in front of you and then slowly shifting your weight forward into um, warrior three. Keeping your hips squared. Feel your variation, maybe arms back, maybe even forward. From here we will land in a warrior two. So bend that front knee. Move your body weight back as you slowly land with your left foot on the floor and land in a warrior two. Inhaling here. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reach your right fingertips forward and fall into triangle. Make sure it's collapsing with the left shoulder, looking up. So you can slide our right hand a little further down. Finding control here, always in your body. With your next inhale, slowly lifting back up. Turning those right toes in. Take a nice deep inhale, hands on your hips and open your chest. And fold forward on an exhale. Drop your hands on the ground. And then on an inhale, coming up on your fingertips, straighten your back, look forward. Exhale, back down. Two more breaths like that. So inhale, up on your fingertips, reach forward. Exhale, drop your head. One more, inhale, look up, straighten your spine. Exhale, stay here for another two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, we'll start walking the hands over towards your right foot, sinking your hips down next to your right foot, lifting your left toes up. Either if you need to keep your hands on the floor, if it's possible, bring them up into heart center, maybe even open your arms straight or even come into bind. But whatever we do, feeling how we're opening the chest, pushing that chest forward. And then from here, feel free to stay here, or if you want to take it into a wild thing, drop your hips down on the floor, bring your right foot a little bit more in the center, left palm on the ground, outside of your mat, and then from here, lift that up into a wild thing by reaching your right, Fingertips towards the front, lifting your hips, lifting your chest. One more deep breath here. And with your next exhale, slowly start coming back to the front, dropping palms in the front of the mat. And stepping back to plank. Inhale, plank. And then exhale, slowly lower down. Upward facing dog. Exhale, for downward facing dog. Reach that left leg up, stay here. Keep your hips squared. 
Feeling your opening up your legs. The whole time pushing your weight back. And with your next exhale, we bring that right, that left foot forward. Dropping on the floor and inhale, lifting up into a high lunge. Sinking your hips deep down. Bend your right elbow and clasp the hand behind you. And again, if that's not possible, just place your left hand top of you of your right elbow. One more deep breath here. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring them into heart center. Fixing a spot on the floor in front of you and then inhale, whoop, lift up for warrior one. Warrior three, sorry. Find your variation with your arms. Straight forward. Gonna go back, be in the heart center. And then from here again, we'll find a way into words two. So bend that front knee and slowly shifting your way back, landing your right foot on the floor. And then from here, open up for warrior two. So I will turn around so you see me better. The left leg is forward, left arm is forward, looking above your left fingertips. And see if we can sink a little bit deeper down here. Straight in the front leg, reach forward and fold into trikonas in a triangle. Right fingertips up. Finding your breath. It's a really, really nice strengthening for the neck. But if you feel like in this position, it's very intense in your neck, then feel free to look forward or even look down. With your next inhale, lift the back up, turning your left toes in so the feet are parallel. Hands to your hips, take a nice deep inhale. And then exhale, folding back down. Come into your variation here. Grab hold of your big toes, of your ankles. Maybe even interlace your fingers behind the back and from there fold. Or if you want to lift up into an inversion, lift up into a tripod stand from here. One. More deep breath here. And then slowly start releasing from whatever variation we are in and placing the hands on the floor. And then start walking the hands over towards the left foot. Drop your hips down to your left, to your left hip, to your left side. Hands into heart center. Find your variation, preferably the same thing. As you did on the other side, so you can open your arms, you may come into that bind. And whatever we do, feel you how we're really pushing that chest forward, opening up. One more breath. And then either stay here or drop your hips, bring that left foot a little bit more towards the center. Right palm on the ground, and then lift up for wild thing. And slowly lower back down, turn to the front, palms on the ground, stepping through vinyasa. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale for downward facing dog. From here, rolling forward into a plank. Make sure you're keeping your right hand and and on the ground and spreading your fingers wide. Turning over towards your right side. And then from here, pushing your hips as high up as you can, coming into side plank. Find your variation here. Maybe we can lift that top leg. Maybe we can go and grab the big toes. And then from there, lifting and opening the legs. 
from here, from whatever gradation we are in, we'll find our way into a low lunge. Just stepping that left foot into the front of the mat, both hands on the inside of your foot. So make sure you have space here with your hips. And if it's possible, drop down on your elbows. We're allowing gravity to work here. Allowing yourself to let go of your hips. From here, we'll find our way into a pigeon. So walk the left foot over towards the right side. Drop your hips down. If you have very uneven hips, then place something underneath your left, left hip here. And from here, dropping down. Reaching arms in front. Slowly lifting back up. You keep all the weight on your left leg as you swing that right leg forward and place the right foot on the outside of your left thigh, preparing for a twist. Reaching the left arm up. Exhale, place the elbow on the outside of your right knee. Take a nice deep inhale here as you soften your shoulders, lengthening your spine. And exhale, twist deeper. Feel free to come into a bind here, but make sure we're not curving the spine. And look over your right shoulder. And slowly coming back to center. Exhale, just release this position. Inhale, lifting up for both poses. Find your radiation when you straighten your legs. Maybe even arms above your head. Crossing your feet, hands on the ground, stepping through a vinyasa. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale for downward facing dog. From here, coming forward into plank position. Move over to your left side. I will do it on my right side again so you see me better. But on your left hand, left foot, reaching the right arm up. And then lift the top leg, lift your right leg up, maybe. There's also the variation of the tree pose here. Or go and grab the big toe, and from there lifting up. From here, we'll find our way into a low lunge. So step that right foot into the front of the mat, both hands on the floor. Drop your left knee down on the floor, maybe. Elbows on the ground, rocking a little bit side to side. And then coming into a pigeon. So walk your right foot over towards your left. Drop your hips down on the ground. And then again, place a pillow underneath your right hip if you need to. Drop down, head on the floor if it's possible. And really find Thank you for just a two breath. So really finding how you really allow yourself to let go here. Let go of your hips, of your thigh, of your, of your glutes. And then slowly start lifting back up. Bringing that left foot on the outside of your right thigh. Reaching your right arm up. Exhale, place the right elbow on the outside of your left knee. Take a nice deep inhale here. Really make sure your shoulders are relaxed. And an exhale twist. Slowly coming back to center. Exhale, release. Just a little counter twist. And then lifting back up into your favorite boat pose. Find your radiation. Two more breaths. And then we'll take it into Ardha Navasana. So extend the both poses. Lower your legs, lower your body, the upper body. Another three breath here. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, all the way down to the floor, relax. Placing your feet as close to your glutes as possible. We'll do two rounds of 
back bend. So we'll start in a bridge pose, arms alongside your body. Then from here, lifting your hips up. If you want to, you can tuck your shoulders underneath, interlacing your fingers. I'm going to lift it a little bit higher. From here, we lower down. If you want to continue with this one, feel free to continue with this one. If you want to lift up into a wheel, feel free to lift up into a wheel. So it's completely your choice here. Or if you had enough with back bends, just stay. <laughs> So from here into a wheel, if you are with me, feet on the ground, make always sure that you're using your whole sole of your feet on the ground. Two more breaths. If you are in wheel, make sure you're pushing your chest forward. Open your chest. That's the purpose of this position. Slowly lower back down. And very, very gently bring your knees into your chest without pulling them too much. Just rocking a little bit side to side. Lifting your feet, grabbing the outside of your knee, of your, of your feet. A happy baby, maybe rocking a little bit side to side or be still. And then bring your knees in together, grab the back side of your thighs. And rocking a little bit up and down. So inhale, coming up. Exhale, going down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Next time we're coming up, vinyasa. So crossing your feet, hands on the ground. Two step back, slow it down. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, and exhale. Coming into seated position. Bringing your feet together, knees out to the sides. Take a nice deep inhale to lift your chest up here. Open up. And then from there, fall forward. So really feeling how you're getting into your hips here. Maybe your hands on the ground. Maybe you can also use those fingertips to pull yourself forward. Just two more breaths. Slowly lifting back up. And then we open your legs as wide as you can. Hands on the ground, flexing your feet, so toes pointing up. And again, finding your way down. Two more breaths. Slowly coming back up. Paschimottanasana, our last position. So straighten your legs in front of you, engaging your legs, flexing your feet. And again, if you have a stiff lower back, place something underneath your hips, and lift your hips up a little bit to get deeper into the position. Reaching your right arm up, <laughs> reaching your arms up, both arms up. And over here, fold forward, grab your big toes, the outside of your feet. Or if that's not possible, your shins. And then from here, lifting back up. Take a couple of deep breaths. And then finding your way down into Shavasana. So keeping your legs wide apart, arms are separated from your body, making sure your legs are relaxed, your hips are relaxed, your belly is relaxed, chest is relaxed, shoulders, arms, your neck, your face. Take a couple of deep breaths. And here again, take as many deep breaths as you need to arrive in Shavasana. And again, it's not an easy position to arrive into sometimes. Our mind, mind might be busy, our body might be tense, our breath might be still controlled, so 
Take as many deep breaths, inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth as you need to really letting go. Then, when you are there, closing your eyes, just finding your neutral, natural breath. If you want to stay longer in Shavasana, pause the video, put a nice relaxing song on, grab a blanket, making yourself cozy. Slowly, slowly start to waking up from this very short Shavasana. So Start moving your legs, moving your arms, start feeling the energy back in your body. Start reaching your arms above your head, still on the ground. Start taking a couple of deeper breaths, knees into your chest, hugging yourself. And take this moment to say something nice to yourself, encourage yourself, be grateful for where you are right now, in your unique body, in your unique place. And slowly roll over to your right side and come up into seated position. Just observe your body, observe your mind, bring your hands into heart center. Thanking you so much for doing this practice together with me. And I wish you a wonderful day with a lot of love, with a lot of light, with a lot of positivity. Thank you and Namaste.